Hi everyone, welcome to Cobalt Academia's Hacking How to video series. I'm Bishra, aka re 100 an offensive security researcher and a Pentis architect at Cobalt.io. With Hacking How to video series, we will see how to exploit vulnerabilities that we encounter every day during the Pentest. In this specific video, we will see how to exploit XSS, aka cross-site scripting vulnerability, by using so many scenarios. If you're ready, let's jump in. So we will now continue with the Port Civicers Interactive Lab for the level practitioner, let's call intermediate. So there are 16 exercises. I fired up eight of them already, and let's start with the first one. So this is going to be a reflected XSS into HTML context with most tags and attributes blocked. So what we are supposed to do here is that uh, we will go to search results. We will write a keyword, Kalisa. We will search for it. We will go to burp. And um, we will send this to intruder. Uh, we'll clear the positions and I will add a tag and we'll say xx. I will add xx as the position. And for the payloads, I will go to XSS cheat sheet of Porsche. I love this one. Um, it's it's like amazing because it allows you to copy text to clipboard or events to clipboard or payloads to clipboard. Uh, it's really useful. I'm using it for pandas. Uh, bug bounty, etc. So I'm going to alt tags, copy text to clipboard, paste them on in here, start the tag. Let's see which one give us 200, which will be a body tag. I will stop it. I'll write here um, body. We'll give a space, then add the attribute that I want to work on. Uh, not clear, of course, add. I need more black coffee. And then let's say equal one, close tag and clear the payloads. And we'll go to body, body tag. Um, and from there, I will see all the events and copy events to clipboard and paste them in here to see which event is allowed. So I am looking for 200, uh, which is the only one on resize. So we know that uh, body will be the tag, on resize will be the event. So what I will do is I will go to um, exploit server. So what I will do is what I will write will be the following um, following payload. So I will write iframe, source will be my own um, Perseverger lab ID. And then search will be the parameter. And this is the payload that I want to uh, send bond body on resize alert. You can write anything in here, document cookie, or let's remove this, like five, doesn't matter. And then um, I'm specifying the width. So I need to send this as URL encoded. Going there, uh, writing to the body segment here. You know, they created an exploit server here. so. Uh, you can send your payload in this way. I will say store and please show me the exploit. All right. Um, so, all right, so reflected access with some SVG markup allowed. So we're accessing the lab. So we're going to do exact same thing. We're going to search for Kalisa. We'll go to burp. All right. Um, All right, it's here. I'm sending to the intruder. Um, clear on areas. Adding a tag. I'm gonna look for which tag is available. Going to cheat sheet. Um, all tag. Copy text. Clipboard. Paste and start a tag. And looking only for 200. So there's discard and image. Let's go with discard. So there's SVG image discard. They are loved. What we're going to do is we will choose SVG. Discard and copy events to clipboard. We'll go back here. We'll remove in this. Positions clear. I'm writing. Oh, wow. OK. <laughs> what I'm going to write is SVG. The attributes. 
them and we'll go back and copying all the events and pasting them here and starting the tag. I'm looking only for 200. For instance, there is on begin, uh, which doesn't create a problem. So I'm going back. This this is going to give us that um, this is solved. So, all right, let's jump into the next exercise. This is a DOM exercise in document that writes sync using source location, source location dot search inside the select element. Let's access the lab. Let's say view details, check stock for Paris, and we'll inspect the element. We'll go there and closing the select tag and sending my um, excess basic payload in here. When I send this, it gives me the reflected one in here. So let's jump into the next exercise. Don't make success in AngularJS expression with angle brackets and double quotes HTML encoded. All right, it's getting more and more complex. This will be a more angle brackets and both double quotes will be encoded. So let's jump in when I say Kalisa. Okay, these are the payloads that you can see. Um, I will use the first one. As you can see, there are no uh, double codes or um, angle brackets. Uh, of this, I'm writing the following, and it's giving me the results immediately. So that was pretty easy. Um, you know what they say: if you know the answer, it's easy. So if you know, if you're aware of this cheat sheet, which is amazing, I think, and if you observe which is encoded, which is blocked, uh, which is filtered. It's really easy to exploit this excess um, vulnerabilities, in my honest opinion. So I close this one too, and we have a couple of them left until we have reached a half point for practitioner exercises. So the next one is reflected dome exercise. I'm going to the access lab. So let's observe what's filtered here. What I will say is, again, the most basic payload, Kalisa. Uh, so I'm going to inspect the element in here. Here, I, I will write uh, backslash double code. And then, again, um, dash alert one. And it's giving me one. And let's jump into the start DOM exercise. This will be a bit similar. I will create a comment in here. Let's write a basic exercise payload. Name something, doesn't matter, email something. Website something, post comment. Back to blog. We can write uh, one angle bracket because when you write it, it's going to delete this angle brackets, but will not touch the second one. So let's see here. Back to book. And it is start now. So let's continue with the practitioner exercise on parts of regular labs. I give it the following reflected exercise into a JavaScript string with single code and backslash escape. So what I'm going to do is I will write Kalisa test to add single code and let's observe how it is um, encoded in the background. Check for Kalisa. It's given me the encoded version. Um, there are two places that Kalisa is included. This second one is here. So it's common with the backslash. So if I check for Kalisa backslash single code and test, let's observe it now. Um, let's go for the results, Kalisa, um, and backslash is also encoded. So it's preventing us to use it. Um, yeah, okay, let's go there again. But if you realize, this is included in the script tag. 
So what I will do is I will just include, I will just close the script tag here and include a new one. So let's see if it will work. Um, script by, okay, let's copy this, not lose it. And in the beginning, I will close the script tag. When I send this, it's giving me the result one. Pretty easy, I'm closing this and jumping into the next one immediately. So the next one says reflected access is in the JavaScript string with angle brackets and double quotes HTML encoded and single quotes escaped. So they're trying to make everything harder for us guys. So let's see what we can do in this case. Access lab option here, what we will write is like always include special characters and send a keyword. We're checking out the source code. We're looking for Kalisa. There are two places that it appears. I'm looking for this one. We'll write the dash. Then we'll write and um, we'll um, write the single code like this because it's escaped. Then I'll write dash and alert since this is already in um, a script tag yeah, here. So we write dash alert and slash slash. Search for it, it's given us the results. And the next one is reflected access in the template literal with angled brackets, single, double quotes, backslash, backticks, unicode escape. It's turning us, it's given us an almost impossible situation. So let's write again our some favorite payload, sending this, checking out the source code, looking for this, Unicode encoded, um, and there's only one place, and it's in the script tag again. Let's check for the burp request, requesting the burp. Let's check for Kalisa, it's in here, and that's it. So let's check for encoding, Unicode escapes. Um, as you see, how are they writing it is that um, they're writing curly bra brackets and alert in it or like include one correct character in it as Unicode encoded. Um, we can try that as the followings in the curly bra braces like brackets, we will write our JavaScript code. Um, Let's search for it and it works. The next one, we're saying exploiting cross-site scripting to steal cookies. Let's go to one of the posts, the boring girls post, and we will write a comment here to steal other people's cookies. So that's the structure that I will use in here is comment. So I will get it with patch and I will write my burp collaborator address here. Uh, so method will be post for sending a comment. Mo no course, um, body document a cookie. And that should be it. And I will be URL encoding this. Um, when I post a comment, thank you for your comment back to bloke. Um, tab and we'll fall now and as you can see we're getting the request here Dennis Corey for HTTP um, and session cookies here session is here we're adding this sending it oops all right so if we refresh the page it's solved all right this was easy there's a start XSS, we will use this, okay. And here it is. So again, I pasted the template that I will use here. And with fetch, I will write my, I will write my uh, burp collaborator address here. And this should work. It's, it's really good to keep these as the attack templates for your um, future attempts. Uh, I have like a couple of excesses payloads that I'm keeping. Um, oh, so let's see. I'm back to bloke. And then I will, um, okay, it's coming request here. 
and somebody's login and we capture them. Thank you for watching my videos. Stay tuned for more content. Cheers.